Hello everyone, my name is Aaron from AED Cars. So for this video today, I'll be doing something different. As you all may know, it's currently the Movement Control Order MCO here in Malaysia. So I'm not allowed to do car reviews outside. So therefore, I thought of doing something different for you guys. So in this video, I will be configuring a Porsche 911 using the Porsche Car Configurator the software based in Malaysia so I'm going to spec a Porsche 911 Carrera 4S for you guys and I'm just going to show you around the configurator and just explore the options that Porsche offers so without further ado let's begin the video let's begin the video so I've actually brought up the car configurator already I've already set it up so I'm just going to open Safari so I've already searched Porsche configurator Malaysia so the one we're going to choose is the Porsche car configurator from Porsche Asia Pacific so I'm just going to click there so we'll bring you to this page right here we'll click back we can explore all the models offered so for now we are going to configure a Porsche 911 so you can see they offer the 718 Cayman the Taycan, the Panamera, the Macan and the Cayenne so I'm just going to go through each model for you guys so let's start off with the 718 so in Malaysia you get the 718 Cayman the Boxster the Cayman S and the Boxster S starts at around 522,000 and that's before options. The Boxster starts off at 486,000. You can see there's the Cayman S, the Boxster S. The prices are stated right here and these prices are all before options. So once you add options, the prices can go up. So as you can see the Cayman GT4 and the 718 Spider. The 718 Spider is a lovely car, one of my favorites. So the 718 Spider starts at 930,000. That's before options. So this is the range so let's go through the Taycan so Porsche just recently launched the Taycan the regular Taycan which starts off at 584,000 which is actually quite good for an electric vehicle that's the base price so you can add options from there then you have the Taycan 4S the Taycan Turbo and you have the top on range Taycan Turbo S so the Turbo S retails at 1.1 ringgit Malaysia so you have the 4S as well so let's get back you have the Panamera as well I like the Panamera 4S, it just looks really nice. As you can see here are the prices. So we have the Macan as well, you have the Macan S and the Macan. Porsche Malaysia doesn't offer the Macan Turbo and the Macan GTS. You have the Cayenne, I've recently reviewed the Cayenne S as well. So you can go check the video out if you want to. So there's the Cayenne Turbo as well. So in this video, we are going to spec the Porsche 911. So we are going to spec the 911 Carrera 4S. Starts off at 1.1 million in Malaysia, so that's the starting price. So when you add options, the, the price can actually go up from there. So without further ado, let's begin specking the 911 Carrera 4S. Hope you enjoyed. It. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the new 911 Carrera 4S. So I'm going to click on the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. So once I click on it, it will bring you to a different menu. So this is the base configuration of the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. So this is the base configuration as you can see. So this is the basic configuration. So the car is in the white paintwork with the silver rims with the red red calipers. You can add on the carbon ceramics later on. So this is a pretty basic configuration. So the interior is quite plain as well. It's just plain black. So we can modify and do changes later on. So first off, you have to start by choosing your desired exterior color. So right here you have your standard colors, your metallic colors and your special colors. So the special colors do cost slightly more. So currently it's white, so you can change it to red, guts red as well, racing yellow, you can change it to racing yellow. The racing yellow looks quite nice as well. You can change it to dollar my silver, this is quite a famous color as well. You can change it to GT silver, another lovely color that I personally like. You can even choose a gut gray, let's say night blue, gentian blue, and you can go to special colors like lava orange, but I'm not a big fan of this color. You can go lizard green, sorry, python green, you can go all the different colors. But personally, my choices are between a get grey, um, a get grey, dollar my silver, GT silver, and 
and guts rate so i think for this configuration i'll be going for the either a guard gray or gt silver I'm not too sure which one to choose maybe i might go for gt silver and maybe do some red accents along the way or i might go for a guard gray and do a brown interior as well I'm not too sure but maybe i will go for let me go for uh, a guard grey this round. So this round I'll go for a guard grey. So maybe in another configuration I will show you different specs. So for now I'm gonna choose a guard grey as my colour. So we can move on to wheels right now. So the standard wheels is the Carrera S wheels, the 20 inch up front and a 21 inch for the rear. So the 911 being rear wheel drive, that's why the rear wheels are wider. So you can choose your different wheel options as well. For the standard Carrera S wheels, you can choose to have them painted in jet black. So jet black makes it look sportier. But if you put it in GT silver, it actually stands out more. As you can see. But when you choose a guard grey, it doesn't stand out that much. So you can choose a satin platinum. Like so you can choose gloss black. This is a high gloss black. You can choose satin aurum. I'm not a big fan of this design of rims. So we have, we have uh, the RS Spider design wheels. As you can see, they look quite nice as well. We have the Carrera exclusive design wheels. These are extra options as well. All these cost extra. So we have the Carrera classic wheels as you can see. This is the Carrera classic wheels. Actually, the Carrera classic wheels look nice as well. I'm a big fan of the wheels. You can have it in the exclusive design with jet black. So jet black makes it look sportier. As you can see. You can see I like the jet black. It looks simple but it looks really elegant at the same time. So you have jet black, you have high gloss black. As you can see. Even high gloss black looks nice. So I think for this round I'll be going for high gloss black or I might choose the Carrera Classics. Or I might choose the RS Spider. I'm not too sure, but I think the RS Spider doesn't look that nice. If you ask me. So maybe I'll go for the Carrera exclusive design wheels in high gloss black. I think high gloss black is quite good. Looks really nice. As you can see. So I think I'm done for wheels. Let's move on to the interior. So now let's move on to the interior. So as you can see, you can get quite a lot of interior choices as well so the standard configuration gets the standard interior and partial leather seats so you have the standard interior with leather seats up front you have standard interior with leather package partial leather or leather seats you have your leather seats leather interior mixed with sport tags club leather interior exclusive manufacturer and your heritage design oops sorry so you can actually choose many designs as well. So personally, I'm thinking of the leather interior or the club leather. So club leather, the brown with the contrast stitching looks really nice. As you can see, it stands out really well. As you can see up here, especially with the contrast stitching. So this is the normal brown with the brown stitching. It doesn't look quite nice with the brown stitching. I would love to have a contrast like this. Either brown or I will go for the leather seats. I'll go for the red. As you can see, the racing red looks really nice alongside the agat grey. As you can see, it looks quite sporty with the red brake calipers. You can add on the red contrast stitching as well. The white contrast stitching, sorry. You can add the white contrast stitching. You can have red or black. So the dashboard is black and the seats still remain red. But I think I will choose this combination for now with the white contrast stitching and the contrast stitching on the seats with the full red interior. So next round I will show you another configuration using the club leather. So for the next, you choose your seats. So you can choose your sport seats, sport seat plus. Currently it's with the sport seats with electric backrest angle. You can see the adjustment and manual adjustment for position. So I think I will choose the Sport Seat Plus with the Adaptive Sport Seats with 18 way memory package. So I'm going to choose that. As you can see, the seats change. So as you can see, you get 18 way with 18 way.
memory adjustments with memory package of course in, in the real world it's quite expensive but for the configuration i'll just go for the 18 way with memory package so you can have your different stitching options you cannot do personalization here because this is just a normal configuration you cannot do personalization, personalization specs so you have to consult your local quality dealer for personalizing your car so now let's move on to the individual equipment so you have your equipment packages and all that so now let's move on to the equipment packages so you can see let me select the equipment package Sorry. so once i select equipment package you have the heritage design package and you have the leather interior package so under the leather interior package you can choose your, your Porsche exclusive platform for leather you can see you can have the combination in black and silver gray snap
okay painted in exterior color with key pouch leather so now it's the seat belts so you can have a seat belt if you bought it already as you can see you can have it in crayon you can have it in truffle brown guts red but I don't think I'll take red because it kind of blends in with the seats so I think I might pick uh, either silver grey oh you see silver grey goes really well with the door trim so you can see the door handles are almost like a silverish colour so I think the seatbelts will match the door handles so I'll stick to silver grey either silver grey or even crayon is quite nice you see that crayon even crayon sorry even crayon is quite nice as you can see so maybe I'll select crayon for now so you can choose to have the sport chrono stopwatch in any color so I'll go for guts red as you can see to match the interior you can have to choose the tachometer dial in a color so I'll go for guts red to match the interior as you can see it changes the look you can have the smoking package as well but I don't have that next Leather, leather package 930. You can choose that. And you can go for your interior package leather. As you can see, these parts all will be in leather. As you can see, you get perforated seats as well. Extended package. So you have to choose the exclusive manufacturer option. You can have the personalized air vents with leather slots, as you can see, in red. Actually, it looks really sporty with that. So, so I'm going to stick to that. Personalized floor mats with leather aging. Definitely yes. Interior mirror panel leather. You can have the colors. So I'm going to choose Guts Red. Porsche crest on storage compartment lid. Nope, I'm going to have the model logo on the storage compartment lid. And the Porsche crest on the headrest. It looks really nice with that option. Steering column casing in leather, definitely. But you have to add the sport seats, so we can't add that sadly. So I think we have to go with this with memory packet because I choose the 18 way. So we can go for the steering column casing in leather with the memory package, floor mats with leather aging. I think that is better compared to the other one. So let's go for cuts ray. So we remove the personalized floor mats. your air vents, leather slats, so as well, the air vents in leather, you can have all these options, cup holder trim in leather as well, as you can see the cup holder trim will be in leather, inner dorsal guards, sport seats plus backrest, decorative play in leather, so now let's continue on with the spec. So as you can see now you have the cup holder trim in leather So you can have the inner dorsal guards in leather as well Guts red So you can have your sport seats plus backrest In different trims So let's say leather So you can see the back part will be leather Sport seats plus backrest brushed aluminium so You can have it in brushed aluminium Dark open flowers root see the dark open pose hood exterior color as well but I think for now I'll go for decorative inlay leather vehicle key in leather pouch so that I will choose uh, maybe guts red as well or maybe I'll go for maybe guts red so it contrasts with the interior board briefcase in leather and the door trim package in leather, I'll go for that. As you can see that part there. So for interior race tags, oh sorry, I missed out one part. Uh, sun visors, we put that in leather as well. Make it look nicer. So now let's move on. Interior race tags, so you can have your race tags trim. But I don't think I'll go for race tags because this is a leather interior. Wood, you can choose the piled down dark open flowers interior package. I make the car look old because 
911 is meant for sporty driving, not uh, luxury. You can have a carbon interior package, in leather, in carbon fiber. You can have it in the door seals in carbon mat. Maybe I'll select that because it'll match the side mirrors. Personalized door seal, carbon illuminated. Maybe I'll go for the illuminated package. You can have the board briefcase in carbon. So we have aluminium as well. You can have the PDK gear selector in aluminium. I think that will be nice because it matches the door handles in aluminium. And all the sport pedals in aluminium, which is really nice. I think the brushed aluminium interior package looks really nice as well. So let's try that. Okay, yep, I changed my mind. So I'll stick to the brushed aluminium interior package. So under audio and communication, I'm definitely going for the Burmester high-end sound system. So as you can see, you get the Burmester sound system. So that's the last option. So yeah, I think that's basically it for the configuration. So let me show you my final spec. So this is the car. The final spec, the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. As so you can see, it looks really nice. The front, the rear look of the car. With the sports exhaust tailpipes, it makes it look really sporty. I think the rims do look really nice as well. The side look, this is one of the best angles to admire the car. Top view with the sunroof, interior. As you can see, the interior with the red package looks really nice, looks stunning. With the air vent sluts in red leather, it makes it look really nice. So you have the sport chrono that timer in red and the tech in the tachometer as well. You have seat ventilation and seat heating, Burmester 3D high end sound system. Carbon fiber side mirrors, Porsche crest on the headrest, and the Mozart model designation on the armrest, seat belts in slat grey, the aluminium package. Overall, it makes it look really nice. And the gear selector in aluminium just changes the interior really well. And you have the contrast stitching on the red seats, makes it look really sporty. So, this is the final spec. So, that's basically it for the configuration. Hope you have enjoyed. Do let me know how spec is do let me know what you think of this spec do let me know whether it is really nice or it's dull do let me know in the comments below so i will continue specking other cars in other videos so maybe in the next video i will spec a uh, 718 cayman do let me know what you want me to spec next so that's all from me thanks for watching stay well stay safe and goodbye for now take care and stay safe guys please subscribe and like all my videos and that's it for now.